Hello, this is our first trial guided reading lesson from home with our new at home schooling. So I'm here at home with Buffy and Oz and Evie and I'm super excited to uh, read this book to you today. It's called Samson's Disguise. It's a book about a girl in the 1700s. Her name is Deborah Sampson and she had a lot of big dreams. But at the time, she wasn't even allowed to go to school. But she found a way to learn how to read and write. And then she worked really, really hard to follow her dreams, despite the fact that women had no rights then. All right, so I'm going to read this. And what I want you to be thinking about is whether or not Deborah Sampson is a woman that we would admire. All right. And... Later on, we'll, we'll schedule a Zoom meeting to talk about it. In the 1700s, when Deborah Sampson was a child, women were kept from doing many kinds of jobs, but Sampson had big dreams. I think that's her right there. Samson's family was very poor and could not support her. When she was 10 years old, Samson became a servant in another home. The father there would not let her go to school. Girls should not read and write, he told her. Samson did spend time reading and writing. In fact, she could write so well that when she was 18, she became a school teacher in her classroom. Samson would teach the same lessons to girls and boys. So even though she wasn't allowed to school, go to school, when she got older, she made sure that she taught both girls and boys in school. Samson was also interested in woodworking. Girls cannot build things, people said. Samson did build things. In fact, she became a talented carpenter. She made sleds, stools, and other items to sell. There's her shop and her building. Samson dreamed of entering the army and helping to fight for freedom. The law said that women could not become soldiers. Women were expected to clean and cook meals for the men in combat. Women cannot fight, men told her. So I wonder what war this was if it was in the 1700s and in the United States. Do you know? Samson was sick of being told what women could not do. She came up with a plan. She put on a jacket and pants, said her name was a Robert Shirtliff and enlisted in the army. She was selected to be on a special team of some of the fastest men and sharpest shooters. So here's a picture of Deborah dressing up like a man and joining the army. And if you remember, the name of the book is Samson's Disguise. So now we know what her disguise was. Her disguise was a man so that a woman could join the army. That sounds a little bit like Mulan. I hope you have you read the book Mulan or seen the movie. As a soldier, Samson performed many difficult jobs. She led raids and dug trenches. She even met cannon fire at times. One time when Samson was hurt, she was taken to the hospital. She ran away before the doctor could take care of her so that no one would find out she was a woman. Then she extracted the bullet from her own leg. So here you see her fighting in the army. And then she had to leave the hospital and take care of herself when she got shot so that no one would find out she was a woman. That does sound, that was part of the Mulan story too, wasn't it? I think it was. The next year, Samson got very sick. She could not hide her identity from the doctor. When she had healed, it was time to tell her leader the truth. Samson was sure she would be in trouble, but the army thanked her for her brave work and she left on good terms. So even though it was against the law for a woman to join the army, she did such good work that they didn't punish her. They just sent her home. 
Many people wanted to stop her, but Deborah Sampson proved that women really could do the same jobs as men, no matter what anyone told her. And we're lucky for people like Deborah Sampson, because today in the armed forces, we have both men and women serving together. And in 1948, which was hundreds of years after Deborah, Deborah Sampson lived, Congress passed the Women's Armed Service Integration Acts and that gave women permission to serve as full members in the United States Armed Forces. All right, and then in 2016, which wasn't too long ago, the Department of Defense ended most restrictions on women serving in the military because even though women could serve in the military for the last, what, 60, 70 years, there were still restrictions on what they could do, but now those restrictions have been lifted too. So is Deborah Sampson a woman we can admire? That's what I'd like to know. So what I, after you watch this video, right below the link, go ahead and comment on whether or not you think sub yeah. I hate that. Oh yeah, I can talk this morning. Whether or not Deborah Sampson is a woman we can admire and why you think she is or why you think she isn't. All right.